It's been a few months since I embraced this so-called minimalist lifestyle. I got rid of a bunch of stuff, I prioritized on the things I do, I bought some stuff, got rid of other. A lot has changed in these past few months. And since I'm reaching this six month milestone, let's call it, I want to share with you six things that I learned from being a minimalist for six months. And hopefully it's under six minutes. It's not a trend nor a religion but a way of living life. You see everywhere minimalism this, minimalism that, you see a documentary, you see the music calls, calling a minimalism, you see art, everything has minimalism in front of it. And a lot of people jump into it because of a, it's a popular trend. Maybe even I jumped on it because it's, it was popular. A lot of people also take it way too serious. They consider it perhaps a religion and they think that in order to call yourself a minimalist you need to be you need to own less than a hundred things and if you don't you're not a minimalist and then they get super defensive about you're not a minimalist you're fake etc you get the point I do understand that people may consider it a religion and that they become really big fans of it but in the end it's same way as religion you can interpret it in the way you want and it goes on your own definition. What I've learned is that minimalism is about the way you go over life, the way you live in the present, not looking into the future and not reminding of the past. It's hard actually not to think of the future, but it's a little bit easier to not think about the past. But what it's certainly difficult is to enjoy the present, enjoy conversations with your significant other, enjoy a walk, you get it. I believe that at the end of the day, we're all different people and we all experience different ways of living life. We're all experiencing a different path in our lives. And while for some minimalism or maybe a religion, for others, it's another definition. For me, for example, it's just the way you live your life. We're not all the same. And that also go on the way that we see things. Your mental health is your number one priority. I've said it countless time and I do believe that your mental health is your number one priority. And perhaps if you're on a point in your life that you don't feel well, it should be your only priority. There is no money in the world, there is no relationship, there is no job, there is no item that is above your mental health. Over the past few months, and I believe actually also thanks to minimalism. I've learned this principle by heart, I would say. I've learned that my mental health goes above any type of item, any relationship, any job, anything. And if I need to let go of things that are not helping me with my mental health, then I need to do it because my mental health goes above anything else. When we get rid of the things that are affecting our mental health, it's when we are able to focus on the present and enjoy our lives and feel happy and that's when we are going to be able to be happy and the best versions of ourselves. Once we clear our minds, we can be happy and enjoy our lives. Let go of what doesn't matter. Minimalism its all about letting go. Letting go also means moving on. It allows us to grow and improve ourselves and care for those that... Hey Queen, what was that? <laughs> It allows us to grow and take care of ourselves and those that surround us. It may be difficult to let go of a sentimental item, a toxic relationship or even a job, but sometimes letting go is all we need. And when you don't feel good, letting go and moving on will set you for a better life and a happier life. It will be all you need to feel better. It's all in your mind. Some people think that minimalism is living in empty rooms, not owning anything and br even brushing your teeth with your finger. But in reality, it's all about your mindset and how you feel and how you approach life. While it's true that physical clutter may lead to mental clutter, sometimes a colorful place full of plants, a garden full of flowers, will actually be beneficial for your life. And while for some this might not be considered minimalism, even if it's for you it is, then it is. It's all about the mindset that you approach life, how you approach life, and the things that own don't tell you whether you're a minimalist or not, even though it might actually help. And that is because minimalism, it's not in your appearance, it's not in your way you dress, the way you look, but it's more in the way that you think, 
the way you address life and it's actually here in your mind. Focus on what matters. We currently live in a distracted world. Anything can be obtained with just a few clicks. When we feel overwhelmed that there's too many options, actually simplifying and getting rid of what is distracting us can be beneficial for our day to day. We need to focus on what really matters and the easiest way is to get rid of the options to get rid of the distractions. And that will allow you to focus on your priority, whether that's freedom, whether that's a relationship, whether that's your exam that you have next week, just put your phone away, get rid of the distractions, even if it's temporary. Getting rid of distractions and focusing on what truly matters will actually help you in succeeding in life. And it will also help you live a more intentional life. Minimalist is just the word for intentional living est. When I first started living this lifestyle or living this way, my girlfriend came one day to me and told me, why do you call yourself a minimalist? You still own a lot of things and you're actually more an intentional living est. And that actually clicked me, that, that actually makes sense. For me, being a minimalist is more about living intentionally. And there's no word to describe who someone is that it's a living intentional list, I guess. That doesn't exist. It's not a word. But it exists as a way of living. And I call myself a minimalist, but in reality, I'm actually an intentional livingist. For me, minimalism, it's all about how you approach life, living with attention, taking care of the things that matter. And I've actually been doing that for the past few years. I've actually been living intentionally since I can remember. And now I will get a lot of people saying, yo, but minimalism, it's owning uh, less than a hundred things. It's being intentional with the things you own. And to them, I tell them, you're right. But it's also about taking care of the things, focusing on what truly matters, living intentional and living a life full of purpose. And if that's not minimalism, then I guess you're doing minimalism wrong. I don't think you can be doing something wrong. It's like telling a Christian or a Muslim that they're doing their religion wrong. Each one has their own interpretation. Minimalism is just whatever you want it to be. And if you enjoyed this video and before you click away, please remember to subscribe. And I think you might even enjoy this one, where I tell six steps to become a minimalist. At least those are the steps that I did. So yeah, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.